Hello, everybody. Welcome. Happy to be back with you. We're continuing the series on this orchestral song I'm doing in Studio One with the stock Studio One instruments, doing a kind of video gamey, soundtracky, something or rather. We're talking about crystal cities up in the clouds sort of stuff. That's the vibe. So yeah, I've been doing it for a few weeks. This is the fourth week, I believe. Yep, that we've been working on it. <clears throat> I'm hoping to get the thing tied up, if not close to tied up today. We'll see how we go. I also made a little bit of a change to something since the last time, if you've been following the series, that you've seen the song. Um, I mentioned last time that I wanted to change up the pattern of descending arpeggios over here. They're, they were... Can we hear this, by the way? Double M Pro, hello, welcome. I was playing this constantly. So I've changed it up. I, I should say, I'm in the process of changing it up and trying some things. So it's kind of odd at the moment, but hear well, okay, good. But it's, um, yeah, I'm not gonna do it on the stream because it's too tedious. What I'm gonna do is play through the whole track and then we're gonna add on to the end of it over here and see what we, what fits? What sounds good? See how to make a good thing. Okay, here we go from the top. And yeah, just let me know if my my balance is okay against the music when it comes in here. Hey, Nick, welcome. Good to see you again. Ghost, welcome, you made it. <laughs> Good to have you here. Ari, welcome. Good to see you. That was nice just ending it like that too. <laughs> Maybe that's how I should end it. I'm done. <laughs> Damn. Okay. No, we'll we'll figure out a way to actually end it. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that's where we're at right now. Um, yeah. So let's see. I like the setting endings. I know. I like. You know. I like sudden sudden endings too. Anyone listens to a bunch of my music, they're gonna hear a lot of sudden endings. Um, okay. So I do want to try something though. Let's see. more 
this is nice without them, but I quite like the little the little notes they're playing. I don't know if I want to play the exact same melody, but we'll do something. Okay, so we could try in this one, let's show both together so we can see what we're doing. In the upper line, we could go this yeah I mean that's already fine I don't I'm not really thinking of these as like the melody that you're really going to be listening to or I mean maybe you are I don't know you guys tell me. Is that what you're going to listen to in that part? Maybe. I feel I feel like almost more the um, the whatever the word is pizzicato strings dun, 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 is what I'm listening to. But like, what do I? Know? That's what you're going to listen to is those parts. Okay. Bill Murray, he's back. <laughs> What's up, Bill? Great to see you. <laughs> All right, yes, okay. So let's hear these two back to back. This one should actually also do that, is what it should do. Louie, welcome. We're the cool people, nice. <laughs> oh, I love you too, Louie. I love you too, Bill. I love you too, sweetie. I love all y'all. It's true though. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, let's hear it from, <laughs> let's hear it for. Let's hear it for the song, everybody. No, let's hear it. Let's hear it from here. <laughs>
Sounds better after coming back to it from a break. Well, hopefully. Sometimes it doesn't. <laughs> Sometimes I come back to a song that I was so stoked on. I'm like, oh yeah, time to work on that. And I listen to it, I'm like, no. Time to throw it in the trash. This one, though, I don't feel like that. I do quite like this song. It's pretty. You like an ending like that on that note. Yeah, I like it too. So maybe we can come back to this section. I kind of want to like go away from it from a bit. Maybe come back to it and end it on that. That could actually be kind of nice. Yeah, it, it does actually work quite well for an ending. I mean, in a game it would loop. So I don't know if it's going to loop. Let's just brute force the loop, hey, and see what happens. Um, how are we even gonna do that? This is this needs this needs one bar. It's not a game yet. It's a game to me. It's my only game. Okay, so I think we'll do it like. No, just try it with no extra bar. How about let's just see if it just straight up loops. It's gonna be interesting. I think it's a key if we change keys at some point. Yeah, so it's <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work. But let's find out. No looping required yet. No, for sure. We just gotta give it a shot. I just wanna see. Cause that might be a section I can go back to then. <laughs> Okay, well, you gotta learn. That's how I learned. You know, the other thing that I learned just doing this <laughs> was um, I love the effect of this piano and harp like getting very loud at the end of this little build-up section and then becoming almost invisible for a second and then coming back in, if you know what I mean. I've not really done that particular thing before and I quite like it. Just that. You hear that last loud key hit and then it just dissolves for a second and then it kind of comes in. That was by accident that that, that that happened, but I'm glad that it did. Part of this sounds very close to a fragment of memory in my mind from a game called Fantasy Star Online. <laughs> nice. I think Megan showed me a bit of Fantasy Star Online at some point. Um, I never played it when I was growing up. I know there's been a lot of them too. Um, okay, a lot, maybe I'm exaggerating. I don't actually know, but I thought so. Happy accidents though, yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, it wasn't that one you showed me, Fantasy Star? No, okay, Which, what was it? Um, so let's see if we can, it was old school, Sega Fantasy Star, ah, I see, right, of course, but the same series. Um, can we get back to any of these parts? What is this? Well, yeah, more of this stuff. I guess that's about, that would be fine, hey? Can we get to there? So what, um, what did we end up doing in this part? We played, uh, and this is where that perfect pitch comes in, right? There's apparently many. I was talking about the version released on GameCube long ago. How cool. You know what I'm talking about, though. Well, yeah, I'm a gamer. I'm into it. Okay, I'm not into that game, obviously, but I've heard about a lot of video games. That's for sure. Um, okay, so we were playing a G major 7. Or, no, this is a B. No. How are we thinking about this? E minor 9 into D add 9. To G major nine, into G major nine, which could perhaps drop down into a G flat, doing a flat two to one sort of move. Uh, see if we can smooth that out. GameCube was an underrated console. Tell me about it. I loved the GameCube. Such a cool thing. And Dreamcast. Come on, Dreamcast. What a name for a console. The Dreamcast. You just have to buy it. I have to buy it. Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, okay, yeah. We, okay, we're all into it, we like it. Um, so the question is, can we just loop straight back into this? 
I don't know, it's going to be a funny transition, but we'll see if we can make it work. <laughs> Not going to work in this case. <laughs> okay, so we need to plan a route. We need to plan a route. Michelle. Hi, Michelle. Welcome. So good to have you here. Um, Super Mario Sunshine, say no more, Bill. Bill, you always say it. Gosh. That was like my life for a while there. Super Mario Sunshine. <laughs> okay. So the trick is, the trick is, the question is, do we want to get back to the original key of this thing? Or should we just stay in our new key and hear it in the new key? Perhaps that would be cool. Um, because the way I'm thinking about this, we're doing this, this thing last time, we did like a repeat progression. It was like a repeat progression. I don't know what that means. It was this, whatever that is. It was a B minor seven to an A add nine over C sharp. So first inversion to a D major seven. Then we do the exact same progression, but starting on E. So E minor nine to D, over F sharp to G major seven, which to me, this sounds like a four chord right now in this key, D. So we could just like right away go into and start the whole thing over again from there, which could be kind of interesting. Um, we could also Let's see, is there another move that would even be nicer? I wonder. So for here into could be, could be. That's kind of a cool move too. I don't know if I've ever done that before. Let's see if it actually works out though. Okay, there's also this one. Simpler, prettier. Perhaps another, if we're... Thomas, welcome. And... We could just go F. Damamaki, am I saying it right this time? I've heard it a few times now. I still don't remember it perfectly, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, let's just see. Let's just try a few options. Let's try the D option first, and then we'll try something. I'm just gonna, yeah, straight up, like, pull this up right now. Pull it up by its bootstraps, like that. That didn't say it right, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Sorry. Da me ma ki. And where's the emphasis? Da me, da me ma ki. Da me ma ki. Or da me ma ki. Now I'm saying it. Da me ma ki. That's it, right? <laughs> da me ma ki. I like to say it. Perfect. Okay. Hell yeah. <laughs> the last one. Da me ma ki. Okay, so um, let's bring in some reinforcements to make this work as well. Hey, why don't we just grab these guys? They're the reinforcements of the day. Oh, and you. Ah, my God. Okay, here we go. You get some interesting characters in here. <laughs> We're all interesting characters, aren't we? Um... Okay, so these need to be, wow, thank you, Damemaki, 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 Damemaki. Thank you, Damemaki. If you're liking the stream, guys, please give it a like. It really helps me out. If you're not liking it, just leave. That would be also be totally fine if that's what you're into. Like, no problem with that. <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> what key was this in originally? It was in 
it was in G flat. Now it's going to D. So we're going to minus uh, four. Uh, okay. Oh, four. I don't know how I <laughs> misjudged that this time. Okay, here we go. <laughs> kind of interesting sound hey let's get some perspective on it and see it's kind of a this transition needs to be smoothed out but we can do the smoothing we have the power <laughs> It's nice. It might need a bit of work, but it is kind of interesting. Those notes are getting way high up there, though, hey? Wow. <laughs> um, I really like this part. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think you mean the staccato part, I assume. I really like that part, too. It's a nice contrast, anyway. I don't know how it would be just all on its own. Probably still good, but contrasting against the held chords like that, I think it works out pretty well. So would it now loop? No, we're in a different key now. So um, we're going to stay in this key for a bit and then perhaps come back to this. If we can somehow repeat this whole section, if we can repeat this whole section in the home key that we started in, then we can get back to it. What was the home key we started in anyway? The staccato part is lit. It is pretty lit, it's true. Uh, B flat, right, B flat Lydian. We were doing the first part in B flat Lydian. So we are currently in D, and this should work out because the second chord here, this is a D major seven. No, it's not the second chord. Then this is a F major something or another. And then it's a B flat. So there's a B flat right there. And the key of the original part is B flat. Maybe. Maybe we can do it. And I want to say it's even a B flat Lydian. Oh, it's just going to work itself out, isn't it? Sometimes it does that. Just shift stuff around and then, hey, now it works. Oh, except, right, I wanted to move this. That was the whole trick. <laughs> I wanted to come back to this section and loop that back to the beginning. Well, okay, that might be a bit trickier. We'll see. Okay, let's see what we can do with this section then. Uh, how long should we go through it? We've got this stuff. Maybe we should come right in with... I wonder, we can try. And these will be shifted down four semis. So I know some people in the Discord, and I think at least one of them here, I want to say, has received that book I was talking about, my teacher's book, Harmonic Experience. Is that so? Is someone here who has received that? If so, what do you think? Have you started reading it? Whoa, that's weird, hey? Hmm, it's crazy to hear it so low like that. to hear it differently, yeah. So how do we... Okay, we're just 
gonna maybe volume is adjusted it's nice I'm just wondering if maybe we should like postpone it for a little bit and just come straight back to the melody list version yeah I think it's at least for a little bit it's kind of nice to have a break from the clarinets sounds like something in Legend of Zelda yeah <laughs> that's exactly the one of the things I'm trying to change is that this pattern as uh, um, yeah this one is this like descending thing that you hear everywhere of course and here in Zelda in the fairy fountain song which is like wow one of my favorite songs from a game of all time um, so yeah I'm changing that pattern up a little bit over here okay a lot Not quite sure yet if I'm going to have that pattern be continuous throughout or st still got a Zelda E vibe for sure. I'm new to this stream of videos. I see this titled as Studio One All Stock Instruments. Is this true still at this point? Song of Healing and Fairy Fountain. You got it, Lost Ghost. Yeah, this is still all stock Studio One stuff. That's the whole, the whole deal. That's why I'm doing it. You have a book? I, I don't have a book. No, my teacher has a book. I thought that somebody here... Um, I, know, I know that a few people have ordered the book, and I'm stoked for them. And I'm just curious to hear back from them about how it was, but they might not be here right now. Um, yeah. So, maybe one day I'll have a book. <laughs> I would like to write one, actually. It would be fun. <laughs> what piano so sound font is that in presence it is just i think it's just the piano full no it's acoustic piano ballad i can't remember why it was that we chose that in the first um session we like did a lot of work on various instruments to try to make them play better and sound better this is the pure piano Sounds good. Getting surprisingly good sounds out of these stock instruments. Hey, thanks. That's the goal. It's kind of fun to try it out, see what's possible. <laughs> I'm wondering about dropping this arpeggio now. Um, down an octave instead just spontaneously drop it an octave i don't know if it will work but i feel like it gets a little bit high for me there what did i do that both at the same time oh yeah okay <laughs> drapping i can't even say it correctly as american as he does drapping It's kind of interesting dropping an octave. I'm not sure that I prefer it though. Um, so can we get some opinions on that? I'm gonna play through it here. All the high piano arps going into the lower one. Should we keep it high the whole way through? And I think you're right that it, the reverb helps with the tone. Big time. Is that too much of a jump? Let's put it back up and see. I like the feel of everything dropped. Kind of too much. Or into the clouds. Maybe a riser. Too much of a jump. So many opinions. <laughs> Would be cool if the whole arpeggio went an inversion lower. Okay, I like this idea. We can kind of maybe meet in the middle like that. Hey, um, <laughs> chat's polarized for sure. Okay, let's see about the. Um, <laughs> let's try to put it down inversion and see what that's like. 
Um, okay, what's the easiest way for me to do this? Oh, this is the easiest way. Let me just go bloop. And it's no, god damn it, that's not gonna work. <laughs> damn it. No simple bloops. Okay, so we actually have to drop everybody down. Everybody's gotta go. So, what are the chords I'm even playing right now? Are these. Yeah, they are. This is a D. Oh, I have to do them all individually too. Guys, come on. You're gonna make me do all this stuff here? Okay. <laughs> you see the A section had the bass, so when the B section just went higher, you can really notice it. See, the A section had the bass, so when the B section just went higher, you can really notice it. Part of me. I don't know what you mean, had the bass, but I mean, hoped you had a neat trick to show how to easily invert it. Yeah, I hoped that too, actually. I was like, come on, Max. What's the neat trick right here? You got it. But no, sadly not. Um, so, yeah, just got to do this. While I'm doing this, you guys can check out the links in the description. No, I think you already all have done that before. There's a Discord link there for anyone who's new. If you want to chat with music, chat with music about me. <laughs> if you want to chat with music about me, you can do that in the Discord. It's actually super chill. <laughs> um, okay, that's that chord. I need to concentrate here, guys. Sorry. Um, what am I doing? This is a D major. Uh-huh. Okay, right. This is F. This is F. Interesting. So we're gonna have to do it like this. this the A section had double bass, but then it dropped in the second part and it was just the high melody. But if you drop the keys, you can have another instrument stay in that octave is all I'm saying. And that was a noticeable drop. I understand. I understand. Okay, you're right. So, okay, let's just make this happen here. So this is going to be this, maybe, and this is this, and this is this, and this is this, and then this chord is a B flat major 7. So let's go here and here. Okay, and then did I only change one of the parts? No, I changed both, right? Mm -hmm. So that's the inversion switch. Let's see if it sounds any good. Yeah, I think it works. It's kind of like Maybe meeting in the middle between the two. And should we um, should we drop the cello out here? Cello is it just a cello playing that thing? Oh, that's just what the cello's doing. This is the bass. Uh, Morning about like thinning out the sound a little bit somehow. Maybe putting these up an octave. Maybe putting the bass up an octave. The before ARP and the after ARP has a drastic sound change moved between here and the next play, the next section. Or a volume change. I'm not sure about this upper octave stuff. What do you guys think? Should we go down back to the lower octave? Like this is a bunch of low stuff in here though. Probably prefer going lower too myself. 
um, now that I hear it like that. All that high stuff for so long and then more high stuff. Um, I think I think I do want to go lower. Let's go lower. Sorry to everybody who wants the opposite. It's just what's got to happen, though. Zoom. There we go. And yeah, perhaps something keeps playing high. We'll see, like Thomas suggested, that could be cool too. <laughs> oh, that's great. Got the eyes watered. That's on atmosphere, yeah. Let's hear the let's let's hear it from the top. I gotta hear the context now and then we'll get back into it. Okay. And welcome to anybody new on the stream, by the way. I feel like something could tie it together nicely to not sound like a big jump. I think so too. I think we're gonna figure it out. I think the jump down is is a nice way to go. Um, yeah, if you're new here, please say hello where you're viewing from or if you got a question or a suggestion or whatever, I'm totally down to chat, so just let me know. Remember now, I wanted to bring this melody back in the end somehow, this piano thing. Just got a notification that you posted in the Discord. And then I was like, oh, maybe he doesn't know the stream is on. And there you are. 43 is one of your favorite parts. What is 43? I'm going into that thing too. I know. I, I think that this is probably, for me, the best part of the thing. It's got a great vibe. Okay, so um, 
ideas for getting this to smooth a little bit. First of all, dun -dun -dun, the thing at the top here dun -dun -dun, can, can come down. Maybe some soft French horn ensemble. Hey, that's actually a great idea. That's a great idea. Okay, let's get there in a second. I'm just gonna try something here. I'm actually super stoked on that. The ARP has a note which stands very loud and high, maybe decrease its velocity. Hari, which one is that you're talking about? If you can tell me which bar it's in and whatever, I'm happy to take a look at it. So, okay, I just wanna try. Let's try to just come down. That's okay. These ones could do the thing though. I see you there, Hari, one sec. No, it's the top one. That works a bit better already. <laughs> to do, do. <laughs> it's that one, that's great. Maze, it's all stock instruments. This one has really advanced. Yeah, it sounds quite nice. We're not, we haven't touched a lot of them yet, though. You know, we're just on the strings, the piano. The harp is actually a synth. The harp, the harp was, was tough. Okay, so Hari's talking about 50 to 51. 50, 50 to 51, and the to do, do, do note. The to do one, so the two one. Ah, that one you're talking about. You talking about right on that to do do do. I don't mind it so much myself. I I don't I think actually a little bit less would be good. So that the next one can be bigger. But not too much. Because I'm trying to a little bit mark like the end. Realistic since it isn't the same velocity all the time, the volume is slightly changed. It's cool. You like it. Y'all like it. I kind of like this now. You liked it as you originally did. Yeah. I think I might like this one. Um, but I'm, I'm open to a vote here. If someone, if anyone's got another opinion, we want to like. You know, you want to sway my my opinion one way or the other here? Do you want it louder? Do you want it chiller? That's the question. Use it louder again. I think. <laughs> yeah, move on. I think that's probably a better idea. <laughs> that note makes another section's ARP volume sound low. It's just my opinion. I see what you mean. Yeah, okay. I think I think we're good on it. Whatever it is, it's in some state now and it's it's the correct state. I'm not sure what state that is, but I'm happy with it. Um okay, let's try the French horn thing. Because yeah, it was dynamic. Yep, yeah, totally. I get it. I think it's probably stayed that way now. I don't actually know. <laughs> So this is all strings. Let's close you up for a minute. This is just a mess of a, a mess of a thing. Let's get a new folder. We need an entire French horn section. It's okay now, okay. Great. So add folder track. French horns are orange in color in terms of their track color. Maybe this one, peachy orangey. And do I have a 
More presents? Unused presents? Hey, we got a horn in here already. We haven't even used it. Say what? How did that happen? Okay. <laughs> Just had to. <laughs> ninths? Ninths with horns? Come on. What do you say about that sound? That's a good sound. Not that a French horn is it, I don't know if a French horn ensemble has ever played a chord like that. Maybe. Yeah, maybe, you know, that sounds pretty cool. I would like to hear it. You checked and there's an ensemble patch that might work better, maybe. Okay, good. One day I'll color coordinate. I barely name projects other than the date. I like French horns and temporarily playing ones. So I think it sounds cool. Okay, well, great. I like to name things. I, I name my projects usually, other than when I'm doing the streams, this is called orchestral game music. <laughs> that would never actually be what I would call something to begin with. I just come up with something. And then later I will rename when the song is finished. That's, I like to name after the thing is done, but I like to have a working name for some reason. I don't know. So you have, you're talking about the ensemble patch might work better. So let's see. <laughs> ah. 1930s villain intro, yeah, pretty much. It works better in that it is stereo, so that's a start. And we're going to have to add in our swelling features, right? Yeah, let's just turn this off. And the ensemble's way better. Okay, we're in business. Let's put this into a mod wheel. The other one's like a sad organ. <laughs> mod wheel controls, I think we had to do wave amp level. Oh yeah, then we had to turn this way down, right? I remember now, okay. It's all coming back to me now. We had to do it twice, right? Double it up. I was just doing this the other day for something too. Yeah, in my tie, I was making a synth for the lo-fi video that's coming out and I had to like what's I trying to do yeah it was volume again I was trying to control volume with the mod wheel to be able to do swells and stuff and I had to I had to stack four of these mod wheel controls oscillator level mod wheel oscillator mod wheel oscillator the same one over and over and over and over before I got enough power out of the thing I'm not sure What's up with that? If that's like just a glitch in my tie or I'm completely using it incorrectly. The thing in Discord is a project and I thought it sounded future like, so I literally named it FB Future Base. Okay, that's perfect. So let's see. We'll try it like this. What's the difference in using the mod wheel versus the attack knob? Uh, the mod wheel is continuously variable. Right, so like a real player could blow harder. Doesn't sound like horns with too many at once. Probably what needs to happen is to play them on all separate independent tracks, like they're actually solo horns, but we're going to use the ensemble patch to begin with just to see if it's going to work. And if it is, we're going to make an actual section out of it using just like we did with the strings. So you get the most realistic vibe. Um, so where are we here? We are over here. Oh, I, ha I hid the strings, as I said, to call them. So we're here. And so what are we thinking for this? You want to like swell in to the transition, change chords and swell out, perhaps could be kind of cool. 
Like starting. Swell out like that. Could be kind of interesting, I wonder. Um, yeah, I thought that might be cool. So. So. Let's find a cool voicing. Get her swelled, hey? Okay. and close voicing doesn't happen so often. Hey? Sounds like a train coming at me out of the clouds. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> That's true. Hey? I'm wondering about doing like a spread voicing like that. Could be kind of cool actually. into like horns double really well with cello okay okay I hear you let's make something happen here Let's, let's see. Did that work well? I'm not sure if I'm like playing the triad is kind of emphasizing like to, blah, 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 taking away from the major seven E quality of the thing when I switch chords there. Like there's other options too. It doesn't have to go there. It could be. Um, this. Note is a bit too loud for sure. I agree. Or we could like swing way up into something. That could actually be kind of cool. Let's try that. And uh, perhaps it's kind of. I really wish they would like smooth the transition a bit more. Let's pull these back a little bit. My ear wants your ear wants descending velocity. I think I mean to my sensibility, it's got to be like ascending up and right at the elbow here, like starting to take a downturn. But I'm also open to ideas on that if you don't think so. No, it's okay. Yeah, I think it does come in a little bit here. I'm just trying to smooth out this transition a little bit. So let's try to hold these over instead of bringing those back. Chance to breathe between. You think like maybe swell up to the break, pause. And coming in afterwards. Yeah, I, 
I like a lot of these different versions. You got some reverb on there, yeah. Yeah, it's all nice. Okay, so I wonder if we can do like, is it like this? Should we hear them come on? Or should we like not? Could be with something like that, eh? I'm gonna try it. Don't know if that's gonna work, but. No, not like that. <laughs> Definitely not like that. <laughs> Should mesh with mesh with the cello. Okay, let's see. Okay, no, that that's just not gonna work, not with this sound. You want them to mesh with the cello that's ascending there? Wah wah wah, that thing. Yeah, they feel like they're coming at an odd time like that. Come with the cello, maybe like this. I actually don't mind it like that. That could be pretty cool. If it comes in real gentle and swells, maybe like here to here. And then like, Come over here. Squat. Gonna keep this like a steady rhythm like this, but I just want to get this down first, so it's going F to this to this. Think about this last one. Should we straight major? A both. Maybe like a ninth. I mean, obviously much quieter than that. It's like blaring right now, but you know. Um, not sure if you saw this, but when adjusting automation, how are you making it one solid line between dots? It's like a cluster of dots along a line that follows your mouse. Well, you just put single points. So you have a point here and a point here. And then when you grab in the middle, you get this little thingy and you can just pull. Is that what you're talking about? This is nice. If you were to add as well a bassoon, tuba, get that thick chordal sound. Wow, man, you just got the ideas. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be so adventurous, but like that could be sick. Welcome, Louie. Glad it was what you wanted.
if I'm satisfied with this guy here. Um, we're probably too low to... Well, maybe we can invert this cord at this... <laughs> Do it like this, I wonder. It's actually pretty nice. So these have some probably built-in reverb on them right now, I'm assuming, yes. Now the reverb is what? The one that's in my session? Yes, I guess I had already put some on there. All right. try something here. I wonder if we can just right at the end tag along with the cello and throw these up in like some inversions. see so possibly something like if we're here we could go It's going to be lame, but let's try. Oh, yeah, my velocities, I have to watch them too, hey? Yeah, this could work going to the next chord. Back up a little bit.
last guy in there. to be more dissonant. Horns are a little loud at the end. Yeah, sorry guys. that room reverb for you trying to simulate you up with a nice room <laughs> no that's not your room reverb isn't it that's the convolution reverb i'm using whenever i'm using a re room reverb it, i just get so much audible echoes in the reverb you know like it's not a smooth sound i just get this wah 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 wah, wah sound so often do you keep bst tracks running through all your songs before bouncing do you bounce only when you're sure you're done with the sound telling me um <laughs> i keep everything running all the time totally i, I get it why are you asking for the for the tutorial i'm asking for it too um yeah i spend a lot of money on my computers just so i can not have to bounce anything basically that's <laughs> that's why i do it I'm not a fan of having to freeze things. I so often go back and edit stuff. I know that a lot of people love freezing stuff because it makes you think uh, creatively. Yeah, I got a supercomputer. <laughs> makes you think creatively, right? In different ways because your MIDI's become audio so you can't change it as easily. You wanna maybe chop it up and all these kinds of things. I get that for sure, but I don't know. I just love having so much flexibility and going back and running all the instruments. So I've yet to max this computer out. It does get, I mean, a little bit strained at times when I'm streaming at the same time, because I'm trying to stream in like 1080 and blah, 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 a whole bunch of computer stuff. But when I'm running stock instruments, you can see my performance meter down here. I don't know if you can see, it might be too small to tell how much I'm actually <laughs> working the computer. Okay. I agree, I hate freezing. I like to produce, mix and master, but my computer doesn't allow. Hey, I know, geez going to upgrade soon. Okay, well, what do you think about upgrading to? I mean, I've been through that process enough times now. Of course, Lou, it's my pleasure. Yeah, I wonder if we go down at the end, maybe we'd be more satisfied. By we will be, I mean I will be more satisfied, hopefully, if that happens. What do you recommend for protection? Well, are you Mac or PC? That's the first thing. Are you a Mac? Like those ads back in the day? <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember that. The Mac versus PC stuff. PC. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, are you a Mac? <laughs> I, re I recommend everything being awesome as much as you possibly can. But yes, lots of RAM is definitely important. Very fast disks are important. If you can get M2 drives, that's great. It's not essential. You can do it off straight SSDs for sure. But if you're going to use a lot of sample-based stuff, having the fastest drive possible is nice. And of course, a processor, like RAM is on, more about how much stuff you can do at once, how many instruments you can load at one time and how many effects and sample based things and granular things and whatever processor gives you the amount of processing, the amount of other kinds, not RAM based things, but any kind of other processing you need to do in terms of synthesizing sounds or reverbs or anything that's really intensive, uh, CPU intensive. GPU, you don't have to spend too much money on unless you're trying to game as well. You do need something, you know, to run your meters and stuff. Sometimes I've seen people, if you don't have a powerful GPU and you're running a lot of meters and a plug-in with like visual interfaces that look all cool and whatever, then it can actually bog down the PC as well. But it's not usually such a problem. Most PCs today, though, are so powerful, like they can run basically whatever. 
CPU's brain ran as attention span. HDD is how quick you can ask as you store memory. Hey, there you go. Nice. Okay, one more time through this thing, and then we're going to come back to the other part. Is a 4K monitor worth it? Not to me. Uh, I have a 4K TV because I game a lot. That's worth it to me. But my 4K monitor, I'm not filming in 4K, not yet, so I don't need to see it. And also, like, I sit like this close to my monitor all day, so, you know. And maybe that's why I should have 4K, so I don't, I don't have to see any more pixels anymore. But honestly, I don't think too much about it. Unless you're gaming on the thing, it doesn't bother me. Or if you're doing... If, if you're doing video editing, it shouldn't bother you too much. Um, okay, let's just duplicate everything. I don't know. Okay, Thomas. Great to have you here as always. Thank you for your input. Super valuable. Fourteen forty P is great. Yeah, that's what I've got. I use an ultra wide. That's something I can recommend. I have an ultra wide monitor, twenty one by nine aspect ratio. It's fourteen forty P, and um, that is super super useful. So I've got right now all my streaming stuff is on one half of the monitor, and then Studio One is on the other half, and I use it constantly. That functionality constantly. I highly recommend it if you're doing like any kind of computer related work. I mean, it's just so good. Rather than having two monitors, just having an ultra wide monitor. Wow. Who would have thought? Nick knows about the wide. Okay. <laughs> what is it that makes that sound so trippy, man? Like, didn't I? Oh, it's because of the change in inversions, right? The invert, it doesn't, it doesn't, uh, flow the same way it did before. That must be what it is. Yeah. You can drop this down to a sixth. Oh, gosh. Why is my... Oh, I'm snapping to frames. Goodness, that's why I'm so, so fine. My control is so fine. So here's what I'm hoping um, that we can, <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm just going to straight up pull this staccato section over to this part, put it in the correct key, and then it's just going to roll right into the intro with no problems. That's, that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Don't know if I'm going to get my wish though. I could just sit and think about it for a second and I'll know if it's going to work, but I think I'm just going to try it out. <laughs> okay, so... I mean, I do have to think about it, so I have to, because I have to transpose it. Um, what key was it in originally? It was doing... I can... In A. And now we're in D. So we need to go up a fourth. So let's just try it. Go plus five. so high now.
something here, change something, or do something for this second repetition. I also think I like it better in the lower key. So I think I'm gonna find a way to make that work instead. Which actually should be fine. need to change the last couple chords. Because, uh... Because... We're trying to get back to a B minor. We're playing D. 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 Going to F. Going to B flat. We could just straight up do that. Just go from the B flat right into the B. It's kind of nice, actually. out. If we can do it, we just straight up leave it like this. Maybe it will just smooth itself out. Some weirdness there that needs to be dealt with, but Let's mute these for a minute because one of these notes is clashing. Big jump in the arpeggios, of course, which we'll need to solve. These could just climb up inversions, walking their way back up. That's one way to solve the problem. Let's try that first. So we're playing the B flat. Right. Yeah, we're just gonna have to see here what we can do. Let's see. it out. There's still something else there that's clashing though. I think it's just a reverb, a reverb hangover. Hanging over the reverb of the previous chord into the next one and since they're just a half step apart it's gonna clash so to deal with that somehow. Okay, let's think. This guy is our viola and it's coming into an A. This is an A, this has been pitch shifted, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is one of the culprits. Mm -hmm. 
So yeah, I think what we'll do, yeah, what can we do, what can we do? This happens from time to time where the chord change is so drastic in a certain sense that having the reverb hanging over from the previous chord onto the next one causes a clash between a bunch of the steps in there. Um, sometimes it's okay, but it's kind of ugly here, at least a little bit in some on some of the notes. So we need some way to stop that from happening, meaning stop the reverb of the previous section from ringing out over the next section and allow the new one just to be there. And so we could try a couple things. One thing to circumvent that would be don't play a note that's going to clash on that last note. Um, we could try changing that somehow if the previous chord was a... Right, it's all pitch shifted. It's just... Uh, or transposed. It's tripping me out. I need to just set it back to normal and go drag it up myself. So it's minus four, so I'll put this at zero. Take a look at all this stuff here. And there. Okay. So now I'll be able to see this is ending off on an E. which is why we're going to get a little bit of a clash with the next chord. It's not so bad, though. What's the worst? This guy's going to not be so hot. This guy's going to be okay. This guy's not going to be so hot. Hmm. How do we solve you? Interesting. <laughs> Let's hear just these guys together and see what they do. Why do I even have them separated? Something there does hang over a little bit. We have a sustain pedal that maybe is part of the problem. And I think that actually does solve some of the problem. Okay, so with these guys, it's fine. Let's add in someone else. How about you and you? Oh yeah, because we also need to add in you and you, you and you. So if we listen to just say, this. Perhaps we can just automate uh, all the strings go at once. Oh, we'll try that. How about we could just automate the reverb of the strings all at once. Let's just see. Uh, the string bus is here and if we automate you during this last note, we can probably pull the reverb down to almost nothing or nothing and then bring it back up over there. So 
So now if we, how can we test that? If we just mute all of this. Some, some stuff is still hanging over, that's for sure. Let's see, is that, what is that that's causing that? back up a bit so I can hear how it is in context. Okay, let's try this for a sec. What happens if we like mute this? first note to come through maybe think any ideas uh, potentially let's bring the horns up to some kind of nice chord there right there where they like shoot up high for a second possibilities here. I don't know what to choose. Let's start with this one. No. No, sir. Mm -hmm. All 
under to you. All your no no nos. <laughs> yeah, I just I just filled filled too much. Too much. I want a bit more sparseness. I was hoping they would sound kind of thin, but. guys to get back in here. What about some prominent stabs with the horn to jump out of the legato during the new section or in the previous section? Dun, dun, dun. Try the idea I just had, which is based off of your idea, it could be kind of interesting. Um, need some variation in the articulation. Mm -hmm. This French horn ensemble is only legato. I can, I guess, I can just like <laughs> bang on the thing. Yeah, I guess they only have. I only have a full. Well, don't know what that means exactly. But let's just see if we can just smack them. <laughs> Don't think it needs to be added. That's good to know. The one thing that I've had in my mind for a while is I wanted to hint at the rhythm dum, 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 prior to arriving at it. And so here I'm in this last bar, and now the idea with the staccato stabby horns, I wonder about that. We could just do it a little bit. This has a kind of, a, I don't know. This is a kind of a thing. Maybe it won't work though. Let's see. <laughs> Quiet hint. Okay. I like what you're saying. <laughs> oh, that was the wimpiest, lamest thing ever. <laughs> okay. Chordal voicing, how about that? This articulation is not going to do it. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Poor horns. <laughs> okay, I'm not so sure about that now. I do like the idea, like, I wonder if the strings could change articulations or if that would be too jarring. You've learned so much in this live. Oh, that's great to hear. Good college try. That's why I like to always stop by. I appreciate it. It's great to have you here. Damemaki, right? Damemaki. If anyone, do, who's, if anyone doesn't know, if you're not in the Discord, which by the way, I have a Discord. If you want to chat music, check it out. But Mr. Dememaki posts, I'm sorry, I assume you're a mister, I don't know, posts some music in there that's actually like awesome. He's got it on his channel. You should check him out. Dememaki makes hip hop beats, R&B beats, various kinds of beats. Make R&B beats. I'm just making that up. I sound like you do <laughs> to my ear anyway. I'm not sure what you consider them, but it's awesome. 
You know, there's only one way, Hari, to cure the I don't have Discord blues. You know. Are there other horn patches for that have staccato? You might be right. You might be right. There is. Um, let's try that quickly. R&B hip hop. Yeah. Makes a bunch of sick stuff. Definitely check out the channel. Of course. Yeah. There's a bunch of people in the Discord doing awesome stuff. Little Ghost doing awesome stuff. I, I, the problem is that I... This everybody ha, Not everybody. Some people have different names on YouTube and in the Discord, just like I do. So <laughs> I've, there's probably so many people who are here and they're like doing awesome stuff and then they're in the Discord and I've forgotten what the correlation between person and name is. And Sorry if I don't remember you. I'm... I apologize. It actually would be good, like, if you want to, like, mention your name in a private message to me on Discord or something and be like, yo, I am so-and-so from the stream, because if you just remind me, that would be super helpful. I really would like to know. Um, okay, another patch. Another horn patch. Call them the Frenchies. The French kiss. And we'll duplicate it and call it the French stab. That's why I treat. That's why I try, try to keep my name consistent with same profile pick on all platforms. That's great. Yeah, now YouTube is the same as my Discord, so it's all good. I need a good template. I gotta learn the bus channels for filtering. I need a tutorial from you on that. You need a good. <laughs> you need a good tutorial on a on a template from me. I have one. I have like a super serious tutorial on Studio One templates. Is that if that's what you mean? I also have tutorials on buses and all that stuff, man. So definitely check out the channel if you haven't already. Maybe you just found the stream. I have no idea. Welcome, by the way. Alanon. Alanon. Alanon the Great. How do you say it? I'm not sure. All in one. All in one the Great? I don't know. I like it though. Some piercing trumpets. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Some piercing trumpets. Maybe some doits. Nah, let's go. For, let's just go for the full patch and see. Hey, I'm Winter Marsalis. <laughs> Damn. Sorry, Winter. Um, okay, straight. What else you got for us here? Do you have? Let's just try some keys. <laughs> I was just gonna say. <laughs> Now I'm Winter Marsalis. Hey, how about that? Okay. Winter Marsalis is a god, by the way. Hey! <laughs> Trumpet's realistic. Yeah, it actually sounds pretty good. If you watch every video of this channel, you'll be a pro producer from a noob. That's very sweet. Sorry. I have to head off. I gotta do shopping. If you're still live stream by the time we get back, I'll jump back on. That's great. We're on Broadway. Yeah, straight up. We're in a big band. I should make a big band song one one of these days. Hey, like if I could like get some nice saxophone samples and stuff. I love big band music. Wow, Megan knows all about it. Megan loves it too. We listen to it all the time. Um, so I would love to make an arrangement. That'd be sick. Okay, I'm just like getting caught up in the excitement. What am I looking for? I don't want doits. I don't want falls. I don't want flutters. I don't want shakes. It's just straight. You just get it straight. And trombones have fast attack options. Trombone could actually could actually work. Let's check it out. In the full patch. That's great, Nick. Thank you. Wow, so helpful. Jeez. Does it have? It doesn't say it has here, not in the full patch anyway. Where are you seeing it? Yeah, I'm just going to let you t let you tell me because I don't know where it is. Fast fall. In the fast fall, really, is that what they're going to consider it as? Fast fall KO or VS? I don't know what the difference is. What? <laughs> That's pretty sharp. Oh, and it's got some vibrato built in there, too.
<laughs> truck. Maybe if I just like bang on this thing, take the reverb off it, take the delay off it. Shpop. <laughs> Everybody needs a good shpop. Yeah, my tracks are all over the place. I use a sample uh, sample one for some tracks with a loaded one shot, but I saw where you can save a group of samples in a template somewhere, but lost the video I want to save. You saw where you can save, you use sample one for some tracks with a loaded one shot, but I saw where you can save a group of samples, the group of like hat snares in a group. Yeah, I mean, it, it, I find it's best to put them all in impact as opposed to sample one. It just depends. The, the benefit of sample one is that you get it pitched across your keys. So if you're into the whole like kind of stuff, hip hoppy stuff, then you can definitely do that using sample one. But otherwise, use impact and you can save it all in one patch. Just load all your samples in and then push the save. So let's see if we can get some stabberinos on the go. What's the notes on that? <laughs> it's so loud. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if this is going to work either, though. If this was what you were meaning, Nick, I'm not quite sure. Nice little thing though. <laughs> yeah, I don't think it's sharp enough either. Let's put a uh, run, a clarinet run coming into this section. What was the previous clarinet run that we had coming into this section? If we come back to here and we just, I don't know, grab this and say doink, see what it does. <laughs> Nope, that didn't work. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, that didn't work at all. Let's... <laughs> Doink. Is what it went. Is my next shirt disgusting? That was it's just it's wonderful. Is <laughs> I don't know what it is about this. I think it's something to do with the combination of the chord change and the notes that these are landing on. It's just like sour. doing it like this. It's a bit smoother. The bottom one sounds great, I think. Yeah, it's perfect. Top one, not so much. options underneath artist instruments winds and brass i'd like to know what the difference is if the artist instruments are like a legacy thing like as in they're old and why are they separated and what's their use because we found some pretty bad ones before artist instruments winds and brass bagpipe that's what the track is missing Thank you. 
There's the intro. A breathy bone. Oh, okay, it's a trombone. <laughs> clarinet sounds pretty good too. Now she has key click sounds and stuff. three horns. Smack. Still, I want to say it's not going to be pointed enough. It's a trumpet solo, yeah. <laughs> Just like ripping like a super fast chromatic jazz. Just jump in there. That actually be pretty sick. Like my, my Cloud City right before it ends. That's what Cloud City's really like, yeah. Straight up. This part could probably have the French horns in it too, maybe, I don't know, maybe it would ruin it a little bit, but if it was just super quiet, some super quiet horns. I'm gonna play through all that, but I probably should just recorded that and <laughs> edited that. <laughs> Twelve twenty 
floor where you are. It's almost 9.30 here. Great to have you here today, Delay McKee. <laughs> Talk to you soon in the Discord. And somehow we're going to kind of use this as the ending. Got an idea. Um. The idea is I'm trying to get back, at least leave it hanging on a chord that can resolve back to the key of B flat, which is the intro. And I just want to yeah, see if this last chord I'm hitting is um, G. Not what I thought it was. Oh, yeah, because we were in a different key before. I'm going to try to switch this to minor. Um, let's think. Not quite sure. I'm going to try this first. Um, you have to bear with me for one sec. I'm going to run a little bit over time here just to give this a shot. I don't know that it's going to work out, but you know, that's the name of the game. As I keep finding out here, we just try it until it works. So, just going to kind of brute force my way through here. Yeah, so actually it's not the whole thing we want, we just want half of it. And I'm going to play the same chord over again. We played a G major 7 just there, and now I'm going to play a G minor 6, G minor major 7, something like that as a means of that becoming the sixth chord of the key of B flat, which is back at the start of the song. So perhaps we can do something with that. Hmm. 
I'm just going to leave it in minor major seven first. I try to find every possible opportunity I can to use minor major seventh chords. Um, this might not be one of those opportunities, but I will sure try. Um, geez, how should we do this? Like this, D's and E's. This can be, this is a B flat. I see. So this has to then be like, <laughs> this is gonna be quite a sound. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be a good sound, but it's going to be a sound, that's for sure. I think I got all the all the bits. <laughs> I love that sound. I don't think it's gonna fit here, but I just love it. So maybe I'm just gonna make it fit. <laughs> Less crazy, perhaps. That's still not going to work out. It's just so far, the vibe is so far from that. Remove the spooky sound in the minor chords. <laughs> That's the sound though, Hari. That's my favorite sound. But yeah, no, I, I do realize it's not gonna work. <laughs> I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna delete the whole thing there for now. I'm just gonna leave it. I love the ending like that. I just don't know if it's gonna work right at that spot, but I do like it. No, I'm on your side, Hari. I, I agree. Don't worry. So that's good. Um, you thought it could work. It might. I, I think I'm just going to sit on it for now and then maybe like come next time I work on it, which maybe it'll be on a stream. Maybe I'm just going to finish it this week myself and just call it done. I'd like to start a, something new next stream. That would be nice. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call that done for now. So I'm going to just briefly switch it up to the other stream song that we are working on on Sundays for anyone who is following this series but not seeing that series. So let's go with this. As I have to say every time, I have to give you a heads up. This song is completely different than the song we've been listening to, the Orchestral Pretty song. Completely, completely, completely different. So if you're not in the mood for something full on, then uh, yes. You might want to chill out for a bit. Here we, here we go. This is my little teaser, you know. You know, gotta see what's going on on the greener side of the grass. I don't know if it's any greener. It's just a different color of grass, that's for sure. It's like a highlighter grass. Um, let me turn this down a little bit. Ugh. So yeah, hopefully that's not like insanely loud. That's a bass. <laughs> that's what's gonna happen here. So this is a stream series. You're buckled up, okay. This is a stream series I've been doing on Sundays, Sunday mornings, believe it or not. This music gets made on Sunday morning. 
And uh, yeah, so if you want to join me next week, that'll be this coming Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. So let's give it a shot. Actually, I need to change my buffer size, I think, or maybe it's still set pretty high. It's still pretty high. Okay, here we go. Madness. The stream is called, what is it called? I can't remember now. Musical Madness, the Musical Madness series. That's that. So that's Musical Madness. That's Sundays. The orchestral game music, if you're just tuning in and you missed the whole thing, is Tuesdays at 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. <laughs> Dank. That's that's probably the correct word. Um, so yeah, we have two series going, although I think maybe this would be the last of this orchestral series. I might do one more. We'll have to see. Um... And then this one, we're definitely going to have one more on this heavy track. I'm going to try to tie it up uh, next week on the heavy track as well. Don't want it to carry you on so long. I'm excited to see how you connect the next section. Yeah, tell me about it. It's going to be an interesting ride. And then we there's a, there's a couple other tunes too that um, I would really like to get finished up um, that are sitting around. One of them I would like to just listen to that last part of because it's been in my mind actually today and... If I can remember which one it is, I want to say it's this one. Um, it's kind of more on that same tip. We were doing this on a stream series a few weeks ago. And yeah, I got to a part that I really liked, but we've been working on it for many, many weeks, like 10 weeks or something. I had been on this one song. So I had decided to switch it up to the current stuff we're working on now. But I would like to finish this one up. I don't know if I'll finish it up on a stream. Maybe it'll just be done uh, by myself sometime. It's probably a better idea. What are we listening to right now? I'm just going to play from the middle of the tune. I'm going to skip the intro, I think, because we don't want to listen to the whole thing right now. Just coming to the end here. If you remember this one, if anyone was he present when I was doing these streams. I like this one too. The one I was thinking of was like the one that had like the Latin sort of vibe at the end of it with the Latin drums and the funky bass line. I don't know what that was now. This one's got a funky bass line too. I think all my music does. I just can't help it. I just want to hear the funky bass.
Yeah, this is the one that we're gonna do the key, the tempo change on. I wonder, did I keep that? Not sure. I guess so. Just entered the trip zone for a while. <laughs> I'd like to finish that. That's pretty cool. A lot of the stuff I was doing on streams, I quite like it. It'd be fun to figure it out. Megan just holding it down with the emojis as always. Just oh. <laughs> Well, thank you, everybody. It's been great to be with you, as it always is. Uh, I so appreciate you all being here. It, like I've said many times, it... Uh, doing some magic on my sub, yeah. It uh, blows my mind that that many of you show up week after week and some of you stay for the entire two hours that I'm live. I mean, it just is like, I can hardly understand it, but I'm very appreciative of it. And I'm happy that you do because then I get to spend time with all of you and that's really what it's all about for me. So in that selfish regard, I'm excited for you to be here. So I'll be back, I'll be back on Sunday, next Sunday at 10 a.m. Pacific time. And uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to starting on the heavy song again. And then maybe next Tuesday, we'll be back with a new stream series on Tuesdays. If you got suggestions, you can talk to me in the Discord. That would be great. Uh, great stream tonight. We also have BB. Good night. Good night, everyone. Yeah, good night, everyone. Thank you, sweetie. Love your work. I always learn something. That's great to hear. That's all I can ask for. See you soon. Bye-bye. I still love y'all. Have a good night. Okay, good. Appreciate that, guys. Have a good rest of your day, night, wherever it is. Just install Discord. Okay, Hari. We got it. Let's do it. I'll see you there. It's popping off. Yeah, no, not really, but it's a pretty cool place to be. So yeah, thanks guys. Talk to you really soon. Have a great rest of your whatever it is, night or day. <laughs>